Hey guys, just wanted to go over my snowmobile lifts with you. Uh, give you a little better idea than just a picture. Uh, the whole entire lift is powder coated, three mil thick, nice gloss black. Uh, gives it a real good finish. Uh, it's got four casters underneath it, which bolt on, so you can remove them if you need to just, if you really need to crank on your snowmobile and you don't want it to roll around, so they are removable. Um, we'll start with the jack. It's a 5,000 pound bulldog. Um, and the nice thing on this is I got a two inch piece of hex and it's not welded, it's bolted. So if it does strip out, you can replace it. Uh, front crossbar has got uh, anti-slip adhesive strip on it. Uh, really aggressive, so it really bites, you know, and gives you, gives you a good grip on your snowmobile when it's sitting on it so it doesn't move anywhere. In the rear of the lift has got these fold up, fold down arms with inch and a half bumper pads on them that don't slip. Uh, they work really great, they're quick versus the ones that thread up. Um, you gotta thread them all the way down to put it underneath your snowmobile and then you gotta go back there and thread them all the way up. These you just slide underneath, fold them up, lift your sled. Same thing, drop the snowmobile down, you can pull it right out and they'll move. Um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of go through this with you and uh, show you how it works. I'm gonna set the camera down here and uh, run that up and spin the snowmobile around a little bit for you. All right, go ahead and get yourself a decent drill. Um, you can use a wrench if you want. It's all entirely up to you. Three quarter inch socket. Go ahead and slide your left knee to your snowmobile like so. Um, some of the older models, they tend to sag, sag in the front end a little bit. So uh, sometimes you just gotta give that a little nudge underneath there to get underneath there, let it go. But unlike this one, it slides underneath there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some tension on it before I go back and move my arms up. Like I said earlier, you just fold these up you don't have to thread them. And I know in the winter time, you know, you're in a garage and it starts, uh, your snowmobile starts thawing out and you get water in those threads and then it freezes overnight. Those aren't gonna go down very well and they aren't gonna go off and you're gonna get mad because you got a pistol pass. Now go ahead, move that one off, and that's it. You're ready to lift. There you go, you guys are up in the air. Do some work on it. Nice thing about this, it gives you an overall 32 inch lift on your snowmobile. Um, real easy to move around. You know, if you want to work on it, you can work on it. It's not going to go anywhere. I know some of you might be worried about those arms, but uh, like I said, I got the anti slip up front, and these pads are anti slip in the back, so it doesn't move. Now, if you want to spin this around, or in most cases, you know, you got to put it in the corner of your garage to get it out of the way to park a car in it. It's real easy to do versus just trying to hand it, manhandle it over there. Like I said, all four casters swivel. Makes it real nice to move it around. Real easy for a guy who wants his up in the air. Everything's right here so you can work on it. You know, you ain't bending over and trying to break your back trying to work on everything. Like I said, it's very, very sturdy. Great for putting high packs on, changing your carbides working on the track, setting the track, um, miscellaneous things you can do here. Then when you're done, just grab your drill, turn her down. That's it. I don't have to 
to go back there and thread down those bolts, I just pull it out. Fold those anywhere you want them. Move that out of the way. Ready to go right. If you guys got any questions, just go ahead and email me. Otherwise, uh, thanks for looking at my lifts. I really appreciate it.